video is presented in partnership with Hampson Auctions, one of the UK's leading classic, performance and supercar auction houses. Their next sale takes place on the 24th of November at the magnificent Bowlesworth Castle in Cheshire. Hi everybody, welcome back to Richard Views. Welcome back to our second behind the video video, if it's a good way to call it that. So just to give you a bit of a just to give you a bit of a description of what this video is like. It's just a behind the scenes video for us creating our content. It's not very cinematic. It's not got loads of edits in it. It's not seamless. It's just as it comes to the camera. So very relaxed and very ad hoc. This just gives you some insight into how we create our videos on those particular days. It's a behind the scenes if you like. So today we're off to 50 Supercars in Bradford on Avon to showcase an incredible hypercar. And the hypercar is the Koenigsegg Agera N. And Koenigseggs are very special bespoke cars. Often people will buy these cars and obviously they're very wealthy people, very high and wealthy people, and they'll buy these cars and they'll want them customized to their own specification, usually however much that costs. And that's the case with this particular car. This car was purchased, I believe it's always been managed by Super Vitura, and this car was purchased from Super Vitura, and then the owner sent it all the way back to Sweden, to the original factory, where it was then customized for their particular specification. And all the interior and all the exterior was changed substantially. And then it was labeled the Agera N, and the end, at the end is the initial of the then owner who changed all the configuration who paid for all the customization of the car so all these cars like when they're named like a Guerra N and such like they're pretty much always named after the person who spent the money and sent it back to have it all customized which is pretty cool god knows how much that costs but it's pretty cool and this car has all the branding around the car labeling in it the Agera N as well so all that has been updated too so these cars are a one of one this is a one of one there's only one of these Agera N's in the world and there's only 58 Koenigsegg Agera's in the world totally so there ain't that many around and this is a one of one of this particular specification so pretty cool car you'll join us when we get to 50 supercars and you'll see the car in all its glory it's got a very very special external wrap on it and i'll go through exactly what that external wrap is and uh, obviously walk you through the interior and exterior but all the main details will be on the long form video so make sure you catch the long form video for the agera n on our channel rich reviews you'll catch us at five zeros We're now here at Bradford and Avon, five zeros. We've had the Agera brought outside, so we're in this location on the outside of uh, Bradford and Avon, five zeros, just so we can have the Agera in out, so we can start filming in a sort of a rustic location. So this will mostly be our backdrop for this video today. We have an audience behind us. Say hi, guys. Hi. We're just setting up now for filming. We've got our own Agera little sniffer bloodhound here, look. He's sniffing around the Agera. Beautiful little dog. Not sure of his name, but obviously he's owned by the people who work here at uh, Five Zeros. A gorgeous little dog. He's got a little ball and <laughs> he keeps bringing the ball to us while we're trying to film. He keeps bringing the ball to us and we throw the ball and of course he keeps bringing the ball back again. Supercars in Bradford on Avon to showcase this incredible three-pound 
testing out the lenses on the new iPhone. This is 0 0.5. And if we go through to five times optical zoom, we can see right into the cabin. And it's now gonna focus on the center console. And now back to 0 0.5. Pretty incredible. Just preparing to do my initial, this background history or back history of the Aguera and just going to give you a little bit of insight into this again look at that customization on that obviously this is this is a bespoke wrap and this is a bespoke wrap that was in collaboration with divine savages and this wrap is actually to market wallpaper this is actually a wallpaper wrap so this design and this design in luxury wallpaper can be purchased from always sunday house so this design was in collaboration with divine savages and this wallpaper can be purchased from always sunday house very interesting name for a luxury wallpaper company. Underneath this wrap, this car is triple layer pearlescent white. So this is a very, very special Aguera. It's, I assume that this wrap will come off at some point when the marketing has finished for this particular wallpaper. But as you can see, this is a very, very special car. If you were looking to purchase your first supercar or add a car to your collection, Rich Reviews has already helped multiple owners secure their dream supercar. We have a mix and match of services to help take the pain away to ensure a happy, memorable purchase away from the stress that can be caused by car research and dealing negotiations. Our mix and match of services include telephone support calls, pre-purchase inspection and car collection video. For more information, please contact me via message in the comments below or at the following email address. Now back to the video. We're just going to go to the engine compartment now and to do that we've got to open up these incredible dihedral doors. Um, I think they call them millionaire doors and then there's a latch at the back and then we'll open up the clamshell at the back to expose the engine compartment. You've got a button underneath the door, you hold the button, it releases the window, unlocks the car and then you slowly lift it up and you've got this pinch mechanism which provides this dihedral lift angle. And you've got the catch here, for this catch. This is a three million pound car, so I'm being very, very careful. And there you have the Koenigsegg five litre twin turbo V8. Incredible. Standard Aguera engine. I don't believe this has been customized at all for this Aguera N, but this car pushes out 947 brake horsepower standard. And with different levels of tune and with the highest level of tune, you can get this car up to 1,140 brake horsepower. And this pushes out 811 pound foot of torque. Can you imagine putting down 811 pound foot of torque with a twin turbo five liter engine on the, on the tarmac? The electronics must be really good in this car and I believe it's very, very violent when it delivers its performance. So it's not like a refined Ferrari or Lamborghini. It's quite violent in how it delivers that, that, uh, that torque and that power to the road. But just an incredible plethora of bespoke design. So this is how you close an Aguera N engine clamshell. And it's a little bit brutal. Now, this is how the people here have told me how you have to close this. So, you know, I've not been un unduly brutal on this car, this is just how it is. And when I was shown that it was actually dropped from a high, but I just haven't got the guts to drop that from a high. <laughs> it's, it's a three million pound car. I'm not going to damage anything. This is part of the reasons, part of the issue, this is part of the issues with video in these high end, high value cars. Sometimes you're so in awe of the car because they're so special. I mean, this is just, you, you know, it's a one of one, you know, you can't recreate this if it's screwed in any way, shape or form. So you're on tender hooks when you're, when you're moving around the car, when you're opening up the doors, you're opening up the engine compartments and that, you're on tender hooks and you think, you know, this is just a one of one. If this has to be recreated, it'll never be recreated exactly the same again. It just can't be. It's such a special car. 
So you have to try and put that out of your head a bit when you're walking around these cars, because otherwise you just never do anything. Because it's just the overall by the presence of the hypercar. But at the end of the day, having said all that, it is just a car. A three million pound car, but it is just a car. Absolutely incredible. Look at these, look at these carbon wheels. If we took this out, for example, we're not going to be able to because of the weather today. But if we took this out, say we curved this wheel. I mean, this wheel is a one of one. Can you imagine? Oh, God knows how much these wheels cost, but if I, if I caught a curb, say somebody pushed me into a curb. I think I mean, it's over a hundred grand option on the new ones yeah. to have carbon wheels. I, mean, I think it's 120 or something for, for carbon it's wheels. It's freaking brutal. I mean, it's not just that though. It's not just the cost of the wheels. It's also that this car would be without immaculate wheels for a given amount of time while those wheels were created bespoke for this car. Because they don't just have them sitting on a the shelf. They'd have to be created per order. It's not like Ferraris and Lamborghinis. And yeah, those are stunning, stunning beautiful cars, but this is just another league above these hypercars. They're dirt made to order these cars. Incredible, incredible piece of engineering. 1,140 brake horsepower, Ferdinand and Garrett head fired up. And I'm trying to get you to experience what it's like in the cabin of this car, because the whole cabin vibrates with the performance. This revs so easily. The whole car is vibrating. And this is a whole solid carbon fiber chassis. on the uh, Jacob cam here just finished just wrapped up the Agera end shoot you know what an honor to be able to uh, and a privilege to be able to film cars like that obviously weren't able to take it out because it was absolutely drenched before but uh, yeah final moments with this car just fired it up um, and did the final section gave it some revs and we're about to fire it up again and then pull it back as the uh, police just drive past and give me a smile but um yeah about to pull it back into the main barn area and uh yeah just wrapped up with the car we've been filming about four four hours so even for a static shoot i mean you saw the last episode hopefully with the um speciali if you won't i'll link it up here but yeah, we just filmed, just wrapped up four or five hours we've been here, and that's just for a static shoot. You know, we, we, all we did was pull it, pull it in here and, and do a video on it. So, um, yeah, the Speciali was about a full day shoot, and this has been about a half day shoot. Any final words? Just an incredible car. Just a one of one bespoke car. If you've got everything, if you've got all the money in the world, and you've got everything you could possibly want, this is what you do. You have a bespoke built Koenigsegg with your name on it, a Gera N, with your initial on the car, and it looks like this. And you engage people like the mind savages inside of this phone rack, and then you sell it for a company called Always Sunday House, as wallpaper, as luxurious wallpaper. It's just another league. Yeah, but I'd still have a 458 over this. Well, the trouble is, I mean, you know, you've got to put yourself into those sort of people's mindset. They've already got everything though, yeah, so. They've yeah, they've got everything, they've got so much wealth, it doesn't phase them having a three million pound car that they're driving. So they drive it with it in different contexts. You know, whereas we would drive a Ferrari, we would drive a Ferrari in the context of it's a very valuable car in relation to us, so we would drive it very carefully and look after it. And that's pretty much the same sort of league for these people for a three million pound car. So it's a totally different mindset. It's a totally different league.
How do I pull this down? Just uh, the silver. Just, uh, watch it down all the way. If you grab it by the handle instead, don't let it drop. Just sort of yeah, close it from there then. So that's our behind the video footage for the Koenigsegg Aguera N. Hope you've really enjoyed that. Let us know if you enjoyed this type of content. Let us know in the comments below. We're hoping that this will re be really supportive content to our main long form videos. And it will give you a good insight into, into the amount of effort that we put forward to create all this type of content for you. It's not a simple switch the cameras on and switch the cameras off. Thanks, thanks a lot for watching guys and we'll catch you in the next video.